What's for dinner tonight? That's the question we all pretty much ask every night. Well, today we're putting a little spin on two ordinary dishes. Candace Conley is the girl can cook, and she's here making spaghetti pizza pie. That's it. And I was reading about this, and I'm like, how do you, how do you make spaghetti look like a pizza pie? But you're going to tell us how. Thank yeah, you so much for another, coming in. Oh, my pleasure. And, you know, yeah, how are you going to do that? Yes. Well, it's really easy. It takes three ingredients. Crazy. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Old spaghetti. Well, I shouldn't say old, huh? <laughs> spaghetti you had last night, hopefully. Um, so spaghetti and beaten eggs, just two, and then about a cup of Parmesan. Mm. And you were going to stir it together. And you actually grated this. I or... actually grated that earlier. Yes, I did. That's a lot of, that's a lot of Parmesan. That's about a cup, I think. Oh, that's not bad. So you kind of, and I like to mix it together first so that when you get the pasta in there, um, you're not trying to blend everything at the same time. And this is, the eggs are so it'll stick together? The eggs are so it will stick together and especially uh, after you get it into the skillet. And then we're going to put, we probably don't need all that spaghetti. About how much Even do you think? Oh, uh, it's probably a half to three quarters of a pound of spaghetti. Okay. And I'll let you do it. Oops, so what we need to do, and you know what, this is something fun that actually kids could do because you need to make sure that every strand is covered and they could get their hands in here and really get it uh, all gooshed together. And That's a culinary term, by the way. <laughs> goosh, uh, goosh, goosh together. It. So we have it right here. Then you want a hot skillet with okay. a little bit of oil in it. So a and you skillet. Want to hear, yeah, and you want to hear it sizzle like that. Okay, and then we're going to kind of press it down. We have a nice shot of that, too. Awesome. Okay, then leave it alone. Okay. As uh, some people would say, just walk away. So, okay. like, two or three minutes. And then what you do is it's going to flip over, and it's going to look like that. This is how it looks, and it's just in a skillet. You don't have to bake it or anything. It's you just... don't have to ever touch the oven or anything like that. And then let me ask you, how do you cut this? Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it off onto a cutting board. Okay. And see how nicely it stays together? Yeah, it yeah. really did. Yeah. So a good knife, probably. A very nice sharp knife, yeah. And so you can cut it in half. And then if you're going to do, like, dinner portions, then you can just, like, cut it in a pie shape. So How like cool that. is that? You almost don't even need any uh, silverware. You just pick it yeah, up and... You can see? Here. You just pick it up. Can I try it? Sure. So how did you... How did you uh, come up with this concept of a pizza pie made out of spaghetti? Actually, this is a really common um, Italian dish uh, because uh, Italians never let anything go to waste. So if there's spaghetti left over... Um, then they're going to make it into something. Mm. The other thing you can do is you can cut it into strips like that. And then you kind of have like a little appetizer, like a mozzarella stick. Oh, I love it. And you can put, and you can do this with the, with the wedges as well, a little marinara. And that sounds delicious. See, I should have tried the marinara. And yeah. then you were saying, we were talking earlier, actually, if you don't want to make it an Italian dish, you can actually make it more of like a, a Mexican you dish, right? You can put any kind of cheese in that you like, really. You could put in Monterey Jack and then, um, and continue to put the eggs in, of course. But Monterey Jack and then uh, do just exactly what we're doing here. Um, and then serve it with salsa or with chili or, you know, whatever sounds good to you. So it's... Quick, easy, and it only takes three ingredients, amazing, or four if you want to add some of that sauce right. on there. Your favorite and, pasta sauce. And there you go. And talk a little bit about the Girl Can Cook and, and the uh, market that you guys have or the urban kitchen that you guys have on Cherry Street. Well, the, um, the Girl Can Cook is actually my catering business okay. um, that I started as a personal chef um, about 2006. And it just continued to grow, and I discovered that I needed a commercial kitchen to work from. And that ha is how Urban Kitchen came about. So we're down on Cherry Street, and we teach cooking classes, um, and we do all of our catering out of there. And then once a month, we do a wine dinner. Wonderful. So we need to come for a wine dinner, Casey. Okay. All right, cool. We got that. Thank you so much, Candace, for coming out, talking to My us about pleasure. this, making us a nice appetizer. Really cool. If you'd like to learn more from Candace Conley, the girl can cook directly. She teaches cooking classes, like she was saying, at Urban Kitchen. That's on Cherry Street. And to try this dish for yourself, make sure you head on over to greatdaygreencountry.com and look under recipes.